getting close to that restaurant opening, so it's keeping me busy as a motherfucker. I'm very tired tonight. However, it's already 9 o'clock at night. So I'm going to make chicken fried chicken anyway. Let me show you what I'm up to. Join me. Shall y'all? Now, now, today... It should smell good as a motherfucker. The motherfucker's got a dirty mouth. But well, burn my motherfucking biscuit. This is the greatest shit from the south. You take that greasy and put it over your fucking gravy. He's always got something for that ass. And you make your fucking gravy. Cause he's always been talking that trash. I wish you motherfuckers would smell this shit. This is the insane shit. Okay, so first thing I've been doing here is pounding out this chicken breast, and this is fresh chicken breast. Not to be confused with that bullshit you buy that's frozen in a package. Get you a meat mallet there, pound your chicken out flat, where it all cook evenly. And then we're gonna make an egg wash here to dredge it in. Now I whipped two egg already. However, I decided I need one more egg, and I don't want to show you here. This is farm fresh eggs from uh, somebody I know to give me farm fresh eggs. I don't ever buy eggs at the store. This is straight from the farm. I just take them back the old, uh, re 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 reuse the, uh, the package in there to keep them from breaking. But I get nice brown egg there. And the color of them is so orange and so tasty. Find you some farm fresh egg. Now I'm gonna whip this in here. I'm gonna add some heavy cream to that. And probably a little milk, because I think the cream's gonna be too thick. That'll be our dredge. Then we're gonna make some flour dredge after this chicken goes into here. Okay, so I added a, about a half a cup of heavy cream in there with some three eggs. We got a nice thick egg mixture here. It's time to throw some chickens in there. Now there is something I like to add to the egg mixture before I go ahead and uh, put my chicken in there. That is some sriracha. Get a little bit of backwards heat on there. You don't really taste it, but it just tastes good. And you're like, hmm, why does this man's chicken fried chicken taste so much different and so much better? There you go. You can be that man or that woman or that child. Okay, so in this bowl here, we got a pound of, of uh, flour here. In that flour, I'm going to be adding some black pepper, of course, kosher salt, of course, and some granulated garlic. There we go. So I got a, a hand, nice handful of black pepper. I'm going to put the same amount of salt and the same amount of garlic in there. And with that flour. Okay, so I got all that in there now. It's time to mix it all up with your hand. Don't be afraid to get dirty because bread and chicken or bread and steak or anything like that is a filthy process. And that's okay. The filthier you get, the better it's going to taste. Okay, so we got our pounded chicken here. We're gonna put that off in this egg wash here. Make sure you get it soaked really good there. And I'm gonna show you, this is one way. This is gonna be for a light breading, and I'm gonna show you a heavy breading. And you can decide on which way. Now this in here is gonna be a light breading because it's, it's not. It's only being dipped once. Okay, so then we off in here in this, in this seasoned flour, and the seasoned flour is gonna taste good. Mm, it's gonna be delicious. Press it all down in there. And like I said, you're gonna get messy as fuck making this damn meal. But I tell you what, it's well worth it. And don't eat like this every day. I very rarely eat fried items, but every now and then, you know, once a month or so, I'm like, mm, I want something fried. Eating healthier, my cholesterol got real high and I had to start eating better, so I can't eat so much of this stuff, but do reward yourself every now and then with some tasty ass fried chicken. Okay, you're gonna shake, shake off the excess here, and we're gonna go right into grease. Hmm, there we go. Golden brown. Now, the other way you can do that is you can go ahead and put this in the flour first. Okay, it's gonna be an extra thick coating in the flour. This is gonna be a thinner coating over here. 
Then in the egg. This guarantee it'll stick. I already know that's going to stick too, but this guarantee it's going to stick. This way restaurants do it because they want to make the crust. They put less chicken and more crust. The crust costs nothing. And chicken costs money. And especially when you get into chicken fried steak. Your steak costs a lot more money and the bread is cheap. That's why your steak is about, when you chop into it, it's about one centimeter or one millimeter thick. And that's going to be a heavily breaded. And you can also... You can even re-dip that one more time and do the same process, but I don't like that much bread on mine. That's been the grease for about two or three minutes now. The key is don't fuck with it. Wait till it starts getting brown before you start messing with it or the coat is going to come off on you. And I have this down on about a four and a half. I'm going to turn it up a little bit once the, the grease starts to cool down. you got to kick it up to about seven. But yeah. Let it sit there, let it get stuck in brown before you start manipulating it and turning it over. If you try to turn it over too soon, your bread will go off in the pan. Remember, drop it in there and don't fuck with it. Okay, so that's been going about three and a half, four minutes now. Now it's time to go ahead and flip it over here. The other side is going to be golden brown. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, that's looking delicious already. And we ain't even put no gravy on it. Now, Chef's here with a smart tip that you can do for you. It saves you a lot of time when you're cleaning up. See this here sheet? It's a cookie sheet here. I just wrap that thing in a little bit full, and that way, when I take my stuff off there, put it all on there, it's easy to clean up. All that shit don't coat to the, that pan and make it hard to clean up. It's got a rinse pan like normal with soap and water, and it's clean again. You know, get you some tinfoil, wrap your pan. It saves you a lot of time in the cleanup phase. That's something I don't show you. Maybe I need to show you cleanup phase one day. It's a lot of work in cleaning up after doing these shows. Okay, that was ready to come out of there. That's been going for about eight minutes, and that looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. I think that thing was so hot, I'd make love to it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, I'm going to sit over there on that. Yeah, on that baking sheet there that I wrapped in full so all that shit don't drip down in there and make a big mess. Okay, so this one's gonna be the double dip. This is the one we double dip. I'll show you the difference. It's gonna have a lot more coating on it. And uh, some people like it that way, so we're gonna show you. Tell you what, this is one messy ass meal. I got shit all over my stove. It's a lot of cleaning up after doing a big fry meal. Okay, so I dropped that double dip in there, and you, as you can see, it don't cook as quick. It takes a lot longer for that bread to cook than the single dip like I did over here. And it's up to you. If you like the big old double dip, thick crust, do it that way. Like I said, I prefer it like that. Mm. Light, flaky, crusty, and absolutely gorgeous. And the reason I'm showing you both ways is because a lot of people, they say, oh, you got to put it in flour first and then put it in your egg wash and then put it back in the flour. No, you don't. That's a bunch of bullshit. That's people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. So I guarantee that last one is going to be the single dip. This has been in here for probably seven, eight minutes already. It still ain't cooked all the way through. It still look opaque. And your edges are starting to kind of get burned. That's why I don't like it that way. Okay, so there's the double dip. Let's pull that one out of the uh, fry. Single dip. Ooh wee! Now that is what the fuck I be talking about. Mm -mm. You don't need a side dish. She gonna be so good. Now I made some uh, sawmill gravy here. And I showed you that on another video, so you have to go back and research to find the recipe for that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I guess this episode wouldn't be complete without the moment of truth. Let's see what we got here. I want you to look at that. Mm. I want you to look at that. Mm -mm. I wish you motherfuckers could taste that shit. Focus, motherfucker. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's a mouthful. Mmm, mmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Now that recipe, I was the first executive chef at the All Good Cafe in Dallas in Deep Ellum. And year after year, that same recipe, except for I used Tabasco instead of uh, uh, Sriracha, wins Chicken Fried Steak of the Year every year in Dallas. And, they, and that's been going on for 18 years now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it came running up last year, I think, but it's always right there. That's the same recipe. If you ever, if you, if you ever get a chance to, to eat at the All Good Cafe in Deep Ellum in Dallas, they pretty much use my same menu to this day, my recipes to this day. Um, so I guarantee you that chicken fried chicken is good. Try it at home. It's very simple. A lot of people don't understand. Good cooking is just about the technique, getting your oil temperature right, like on something fried. Your seasoning's simple, simple ingredients, make it taste good. And uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. And you motherfuckers have a good day. Shall ya?